Here we have two models of forest. On my left here, we have a forest that's been cleaned, trimmed, cleaned of all the underbrush by uh, National Forest Service, uh, conservers, or whoever did it. They cleaned out all of the dead trees, all the underbrush, everything. You got a couple trees standing there, some big ones, some old trees. They're trying to conserve, and the point of that is that if lightning hits or a human becomes careless with the lit cigarette and ATV off-roading in a dry spell, it won't cause so much damage. On my right here, we have a forest that's not been, nothing's been done to it. It's not been altered in any way. This is a natural form of this forest. Dead brush has been collecting. There's some dead trees in there. Um, basically, the floor, the forest floor is coated with fuel for to fuel a fire. Now, if lightning or a careless human was to get into this area during a dry spell, maybe even not during a dry spell, it would cause some drastic damage. Let's just go see what would happen if these caught fire. Here we have the thin forest. Now let's assume a careless human or lightning strikes this area. As you can see, the fire is burning what's left on the ground. And as fires do, they tend to try to get trees because trees are fuel a large amount of fuel. Fires don't really have a mind. They don't have a, they're wild. They just go do what they want to do. And what they want to do is consume fuel, which would be those trees. But as you look closer, you can see that they only really attack the trunk. Because the trees are so spread out, they don't, they can't go up the tree. Just because there's not enough fuel. And eventually, this fire will burn out. As you see it losing momentum already. Unfortunately, a lizard was unfortunate enough to uh, get caught in the blaze and the fire seems to like him quite a bit. But uh, other than some isolated little fire patches, uh, this fire has mostly gone out and you can see the trees are minorly damaged but they're mostly still good. They're mostly still alive. Now let's see what would happen if the other forest caught fire. Now let's see what happens with an unmanaged forest. Lightning. As you can see, the fire has spread to all the available fuel on the ground and it's rapidly consuming it. Fires like this have been known to spread thousands of acres in days. As the fire spreads, the fuel on the ground gives it enough momentum to climb up the trees. We're fortunate to be out here on a windy day because wind routinely plays a part in forest fires, spreading them thousands of acres a day. As you can watch as the, some of the upper parts of the trees begin to burn and the fire just, it keeps raging. It's, it's wild, it's a wildfire. Such a wild fire. You can see some of the trees if you remember the last clip, and we'll show you close up here in a minute. But the, the bark on these trees is going to be extremely damaged. There's going to be the damaged system that carries water and nutrients up the trunk of the tree to the rest of the tree, and they'll most likely die. If it gets so bad that all the tree's leaves are burnt off, as you know, photosynthesis is the way the trees get their food and energy, and they'll most likely die that way as well.
these fires are very, they're varied. Some are very big and fast, some are slow, but they're always destructive when it comes to the trees, the wildlife in the area. Just the underbrush, it just burns everything in its path. Fire's picked up again. Notice how the wind carries the fire to the treetops and burns off all of their leaves. Rapidly consuming all the fuel in the area. Then it will spread to another area. Devastating the entire forest. As you can see, this fire is mostly burning down. It's consumed all of the under, undergrowth and uh, most of the trees are charred, blackened, and most likely dead. There's almost no way that these particular organisms can survive to live once again in this forest, although their seeds and roots may once again populate it. Although, without the proper, proper clearing and trimming techniques, this will happen again when dry lightning strikes or human carelessness intervenes. This forest, however, seems to be doing relatively well for just being through a fire. The undergrowth, the ground is pretty charred, but nature has its ways of dealing with that. The soil erosion won't likely be a problem since these trees are still intact, although their trunks are slightly charred. Um, they're not too bad, they're still alive. They're their leaves and branches are still intact. They can still get photosynthesis. They can still get uh, food and everything. Uh, it looks like they're, this forest is doing a lot better than that one. In conclusion, fire is nature's way of taking control of the environment and taking care of overpopulation. Humans can intervene. They can trim, they can clear the area and try to protect some of the old trees but when it comes down to it when fire wants to strike it strikes and if you don't take the proper procedures and precautions it's going to be devastating